Hey YouTube people! You know, when I learned that the Surface Pro 7 was bringing back Iris graphics, I was excited. But then when I found out the configuration of the Iris chip they were putting it in the i7 version, the Iris Plus with 64 execution units, I was ecstatic. And the reason that I was is that's actually a ton of graphical power packed into this tiny little tablet. And to prove to you how powerful these graphics really are, I'm going to show you how the Surface Pro 7 i7 can actually provide a meaningful VR experience all by itself, no tricks. I'm not even going to use a fan this time. So let's take a look and see what sort of experience you can have with the Pro 7 in VR. In order to do that, I'm using the Samsung Odyssey Plus, a popular WMR headset that can be found on sale for new around $229 occasionally on Microsoft Store and on Samsung's own website. In order to plug in the Samsung Odyssey easily with one USB connection, I'm using a Mokin USB-C adapter. After some quick setup that happens automatically after you plug in the VR headset, you can create your play space just like you would with any other laptop. First, let's talk about the Windows MR experience. Frankly, it just works. No tricks or gimmicks to make it run. The shots you're seeing right now are taking using my phone through the lens of the Samsung Odyssey. And as such, uh, this is more to give you a representation of what you would be seeing in real life rather than any kind of screen capture because it wouldn't really capture the effect. But one thing you can notice is how smooth that it's actually running uh, in the home environment and also in some gameplay that we'll show you in just a little bit. The resolution seems just fine, although it could be downscaled a little bit because of the uh, limitations of the GPU itself. But all in all, things run very smoothly and you can navigate and it's not choppy at all. It seems to run really well. Okay, well let's get to the actual main event where we play a real game in VR on the Surface Pro 7, a tiny little demo. So uh, this is Space Pirate Trainer, and you can see that, once again, this is a through the lens video uh, taken with my phone at 60 frames a second. And just look at just look at how quickly, I mean there's no slowdowns here. This is running at uh, full frames, and it, the experience that you could have inside the game, it wasn't it wasn't a diminished experience. In fact, you know, I've had the Vive, the Vive Pro, and it felt just as good playing it on the Samsung Odyssey as it does on any other laptop. This is also after the machine had been completely heat soaked in the VR environment. You know, it had been running for at least an hour as I was kind of setting things up and, and testing to see what worked and what didn't, but uh, look at look at how quick the animations run and how good the gun looks and how quickly it responds. Uh, it, it this game is actually 100% playable and runs great. So super surprising result. I I, I literally couldn't believe that how well <laughs> I was just kind of doing it as a gimmick, but the the VR experience I. <laughs> that that I was having on the Pro 7 just totally floored me. Um, it was incredible. Uh, let's go ahead and look at one more ex experience, uh, the blue. So this is a, another experience that is not super demanding graphically, but looks really great when you're actually living in the experience. Um, you kind of are on the shipwrecked boat and you get to see lots of different sea animals and you kind of just stand there. You can kind of play with fish, but uh, you can see right there like it's it's smooth and it runs as expected. So it's it's really it, it has a, as much of an impact on you as you would pretty much on any other laptop. I mean, it's just it's just so smooth. And uh, another experience here that really uh, blew me away that it would actually run on something like the Pro 7.
So, sounds pretty sweet, right? Uh, running VR off your tiny little Surface Pro 7 tablet. But it's not all fun and games. Um, while pretty much all of the Windows Mixed Reality experiences and games that I ran uh, inside the Windows MR interface works just fine, uh, you can install Steam VR overlays and try to use Steam VR games, but I did not have a ton of success doing that. Um, when I tried to do that on this machine, uh, I tried Beat Saber, and Beat Saber did not want to run. It uh, displayed for a second and then closed out. Uh, same with several other applications. And while I could use the Steam VR interface and walk around in Steam VR Home, uh, that didn't seem like there was a lot of games that really like that Intel graphic driver. So this is not like the, <laughs> take it with a grain of salt, this is the lowest entry level VR setup you could have. But within the Windows MR framework, it does a really great job. Uh, if what you want to do is play some basic games, have VR experiences, watch VR movies, uh, watch regular movies uh, inside that VR interface and hang out in the VR home. It does a great job at that and can totally handle that. Um, it would be really cool to see uh, if the i5 version of the Surface Pro 7 could handle this. Uh, with only 48 execution units and no active cooling, uh, there's a fan built into the i7 version. I don't think it's going to have a whole lot of success. I expect frame rates could drop substantially. But um, for all you people out there with the Pro 7 and want to dip your feet into VR, you could pick up something like a Lenovo Explorer or any other Windows MR headset and actually just plug it right in with an HDMI adapter and you're off to the races as far as VR goes. It worked perfectly for VR 3D modeling if you want to be able to view 3D models as you're working on it. But I was very surprised at the VR capabilities of the Surface Pro 7. So if you like this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe and give us a like, and we'll see you on the next one.